has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day, yes. not tomorrow, Come on now. not yesterday, Come on. but today exactly. is, the day. is the day. I want you to forget about everything that happened to you yesterday. This is the day right now. You can't do anything about what happened yesterday. You can't do anything about what happened an hour ago. Right now is the time. This is the day. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And God is looking to really bless us, amen. amen. But we have to respect him and know that this is his day. Yes. He made this day. Yes, he did. He caused the elements to rise yes, up did. or to fall. He <laughs> caused the <laughs> yes, sun to come out yes. or to stay behind the clouds. Thank God Jesus. controls any everything. and everything. He controls your heartbeat. Wow. Yes, he does. If you got a headache Ooh. this morning, God knows you got a headache, yes. amen. If your pressure up and down, God knows it this morning. Yes, yes, Lord. But for every problem that you got, God got a solution. Got a solution. Thank you, Jesus. As they say, there's a bomb in Gilead. There he, is a bomb he has Gilead. a salve for yes. your problem. Yes. Thank you, Lord. But you gotta put it together. You you gotta get in His words. You gotta pray. You gotta fast, and you gotta keep your mind stayed on Him in order to be fixed. Amen. 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 They say he's a heart regulator, yes, a he mind is. regulator. Yes, he regulates he everything. Yes, God. Do y'all believe that today? Yes, I do. I believe that. Yes, I believe God. that wholeheartedly. Yes, God. Amen. Yes, God. God can do it. He I don't can. care what your situation is. He'll fix it. He will. Yes, he will. I can't speak for you, but I know he did it for me. I know he did it for me. Hallelujah. Sister Lady, he did it for me. Woo! See, I got yeah. my own testimony. Absolutely. I can't speak for you. That's it. That's it. But as for me and my uh -huh. house, this day, this day I'm going to serve God. I'm going to praise God. Amen. Because I know what he's done yes, for God. me. Yes, God. And because the Bible says that he's not a respecter of person. Amen. Amen. And he don't have favorites. That's I know right. he'll do the same for you. Amen. I ain't trying to prophesy to you. I'm telling you, I know he will. Yes, he will. People got it twisted. Yes, he will. Thank you, God. Just do what the Bible says. Just do what it says. And you will reap the benefits of it. Amen. 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 We praise and thank God. Amen. And we ask that everyone stand that is able to stand and go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. Amen. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And if you will, turn your Bibles to the 34th chapter of Psalms. Thank you, Jesus. God is good, ain't he? All the time. All the time. Do you really know that he's good to you? Yes, God. Mm-hmm. You know, when somebody saves your life, <laughs> <laughs> come on now. When they throw the boy your life in, yes, and pull you out of your mess, mm-hmm, and save you yes. from drowning in the problems of life, mm. yes, you owe that hero. Mm-hmm. Your life. Mm -hmm. yes. And when I think about that, I think about how God went to Calvary, how he yes. died yes. for me and for you and for everybody. We owe him. Yes, we do. Don't nobody got to yes, pump me do. up mm -mm. Mm -mm. to worship my hero, mm -mm. who is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He's my God, Judy. Yes. Because he saved me. Yes. I owe him everything. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 34, and we're going to read starting at the first verse. And I'm going to read it to the Lord. Say, quit. Amen. Right. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. It says, I will bless the Lord at all, all times. times. Yes, God. Yes, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Is it don't matter what's going on. Thank you, Miss Ellen. The Bible say, I will bless the Lord at oh. all times. And not only will I bless him, his praise Amen. shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Yes, God. I, I have to have, I have to have a praise in my mouth. Yes, God. Yes. Then my soul, look, shall make her boast in the Lord. Yes. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. 
Yes, God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord mm, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him. And not only did he hear him, it said he saved him out of all of his troubles. Amen. Not some of them. Not some of them. All of his troubles. Yes. That's a good God. Yes, God. May the Lord add a special blessing to yes. the reading of his word. Amen. I want you all to meditate on those Amen. scriptures today as you go throughout your day. The yes. 34th yes. chapter of Psalms. Mm -hmm. And read that. Because it's going to bless you. Yes, it is. It's really going to help you. Yes, it is. And sometimes we need to be refreshed. We need to be renewed of what the Bible say. Mm -hmm. Stop listening to what people say. That's right. And see what the Bible what say. The word says. Amen. And it'll... It'll keep you on the right track. Amen. It'll keep your mind straight. Mm -hmm. But you got to constantly go before the Lord. Most gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. We honor you. We adore you. We pray and we ask that you lead and guide us and teach us your word. Give us what you would have us to learn today that we apply to our lives, that your people will be saved. And the ones that are not saved, we ask that some kind of way you put them in our path. Put our, put our feet in the direction you want us to go. Mm -hmm. Have us talk to the people you would have us to talk to, Lord. Send us to where you want us to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Take your seats if you can. Amen. 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 I hope everyone is feeling well today. Amen. And I feel good. Thank you, Jesus. You sound good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It don't always look that way. And it don't always feel that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling myself, mm -hmm. I feel good. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. And this is why I praise him. Yes. <laughs> praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be. Uh -uh, yes, God. I love it. Thank you, Jesus. I love it when God moves. Yes. And God. demonstrate His power. Yeah, his power. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be coming from the book of Chronicles today. Yeah. And uh, where's the second half? We're going to be coming from Second Chronicles. And um, 12th chapter. is going to be coming from the 14th verse. Right. And we're going to read down from 1 to 14 and we'll go from there. Right. Amen. Topic today, and hopefully you brought your Bible, your pencil, and your paper or pen to write with. 
take great time to study and get things together for you guys and even myself, amen. So, write these scriptures down and go back and read them and meditate over them. going to talk about Rehoboam and his unreadiness. Mm. We want to talk to you about being unprepared. Mm -hmm. I always say, you know, like they taught me in the Marine Corps, his poor planning on your part doesn't constitute an emergency on mine. That's right. Because if you fail to plan, mm -hmm. you plan to fail. That's it. It's, it. it's a common thing. No matter what you do, you have to be organized. Mm -hmm. You have to put God first in everything that you do. Without God, nothing's going to work. That's right. It doesn't matter what type of job you got. You can be the manager, the supervisor. or what. Without God, it won't work. That's right. We had a first sergeant that did, what, close to about 26 years in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And she only lived like maybe uh, three years or so after she retired. Jesus. She was a leader, Judy. Mm -hmm. Well respected. Did great things in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. But where did it all go to? She didn't get to enjoy the fruit of her labor. Her daughter named Diamond, they call her Diamond. Well, I guess she's getting the benefits now. Wow. Doesn't matter how much we put all the effort and time into things. If God is not in it, you're going to surely fail. Mm-hmm. So we have to deal with the first thing, our mind. Yeah. We have to tell ourselves in our mind and we have to purpose it in our heart that God is number one. And God doesn't like unpreparedness. He likes you to be ready. You got to have your armor on at all times. Right. It's interesting that it never talks about the back. Mm -mm. Because you never put your back to the enemy. That's right. You face him straight on. But when you're unprepared, Judy, I use you a lot. I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I want to say that because I don't want you to think I'm just, you know. Thank you, Jesus. It's important. Jesus being in charge. Rehoboam was unready. Unready. His mind wasn't set and his heart wasn't set. Wow. He did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. Wow. Does everybody know who Jehovah was? He was the son of Solomon. Now Solomon was what? Wise. He wise. Was wise man. Very wise. Mm -hmm. You know how they say that the apple don't, don't fall far, far from, from the tree? tree. If your daddy was wise and your mama was wise, one would assume that the son or the daughter would be wise. If the mama and the daddy got money, one would assume that the child or the children would have money. If the mama and daddy is educated and is an advocate for education, one would assume that that child or the siblings would be educated. If your mama was a hell raiser and your father was a hell raiser, one yeah. would assume that the child would be that as well. Mm -hmm. But God. But well, God. <laughs> yes, sir. God is the only one that can break that vicious cycle yes, and change it. Mm -hmm. Just because your daddy was a drunk don't mean that you got to be a drunk. That's right. That's right. You could be whatever God want you to be. Amen. Man. But Rehoboam had a problem. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read about him today. We're going to start at the first verse. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Let's read down and see what the scripture has for us on this. And we're starting 
Second chapter of Chronicles 12 and uh, 1. How does it read? And it came to pass yes. when Rehoboam had established the kingdom and had strengthened himself, he forsook the law of the Lord. Stop right there. Now, now he, he, he feeling himself. Mm -hmm. He think that he got it all together. But one thing about it, it says, when Rehoboam, it didn't say God, it says when Rehoboam had established the kingdom mm -hmm. and had strengthened himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, too many eyes, mm -hmm. too many me's. The Bible say he forsook the law of the Lord. And all of Israel with him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about this poor leadership. Mm -hmm. When the leadership ain't right, when the head is messed up, come on now. Everything below it is gonna be messed up. Because of bad leadership. Mm -hmm. And God speaks against bad leadership. That's why God has order to a home. Yes, God. You can't be the head if God didn't tell you that you were the head. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much knowledge you got. Mm -hmm. God got a set process. Yes. And we have to adjust and line ourselves with it. it. Mm -hmm. We need to stay in our lane and we need to do what God tells us to do. Now, where it gets really good at we compliment each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you better with money than I am, then you gonna work that side. Uh, amen. Amen. I mean, Judy, if if my wife is a better greeter than I am, mm -hmm. and we have a church, ain't no use me sitting here trying to play usher. That's right. Cause, cause my 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 All features, right my face, my personality don't fit that. <laughs> That's it. I need people to be comfortable. That's right. That's right. I need for them to be happy. Yeah, that's right. I need for them to know, hey, okay, we're in a good place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why me and my, we, we team players. That's right. She don't always understand where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And she don't know, I don't always understand where she going. But I stay in my lane, she stay in her lane. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she jump across the track and say, what you doing over here? <laughs> Get back over the track now. <laughs> Y'all know I'm real, right? Oh, yeah. It's just like cooking dinner for the day, mm -hmm. and it tastes good. All right. But it's not how I would do it. My, that's my wife's doing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, y'all think I'm playing? <laughs> I don't play with what I do. And I had to pray because I got a little attitude about it. Oh, see, y'all y'all don't Boy. see. No, no, y'all don't want to talk to me this morning. Well, yeah, you know, see, well, see, well. see, I'm a man of my house. That's it. And I run my house well. Say so. But there's also the queen of the house, too. Right. And sometimes we, okay. we butt heads. Butt head. That's it. Stay out of my lane. Because I do things a certain way. I'm particular. Mm -hmm. And when something don't taste right, see, I... The, the thing about a man, and when a man gets something down, he got a system. Don't change his system. Mm -hmm. Now, we can do a lot of things, but when you mess with the way we do business, you're going to have some problems. Mm -hmm. Just like a woman. A woman got her ways, too. That's right. That's right. And anytime somebody mess with that, you're going to have some problems. Problem. No, having this shut up today, no, I, you know, I, I, I'm not feeling that right now. What would I do, baby? Mm -hmm. I, look, I, I don't feel like talking right now. That's it. Bag it that up. easy. Bag it up. Like, wow. Bag it up. That's up. because they're nurturers. Mm -hmm. We're conquerors. Mm -hmm. That's just the difference. It's two different natures. But what's more important is for the natures to come together and work. Because the moment that devil see it, I mm. got him. Oh, I got him right now. And his whole mission is to kill, steal, and to destroy. If he can cut, you know, Brother Scott, a rat can get in between a crack. I've been told 
that they can disengage their bones uh -huh. and squeeze through the tiniest things. Yep. That's just like the devil. Mm -hmm. The devil will come into your, you come into your situation. He'll squeeze through. Mm -hmm. Oh, you might have a window shut, but it's 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 not locked That's or it's it. cracked. He'll come through there. That's why we gotta always be ready. Amen. Warfare. Don't play with it. You got to be ready. That's why my face is always like this. Y'all think I'm playing. Let me tell you something. I'm like this for a reason. Mm -hmm. These eyes have seen some things that mm -hmm. I don't even like to talk about. I've been conditioned for warfare. Mm -hmm. And it poured over into the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me if, if I don't smile 24-7 like my wife. Okay. Because when I have seen some blood and guts and you understand, it's for real to me. I'm like, okay, people are dying. Yes, God. That's why I preach and I teach so hard. Yes. I try to calm down, but God just don't let me calm down. So I figure, I made my mind up, mother. I said, this is just my nature. I got that Ezekiel faith. Set your face like flint. I'm going to preach it and teach it in season and out of season, whether they smile or don't smile. Because that's what God has done for me. I have to do that. That's right. And, and when, when, when I need to be a little soft with the people, I just call my wife, okay, come on up. Be a little nice. Because I'm not the one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you like it is. That's it. I have to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. The unbiased truth. You see, a real leader... Can't be friends with you. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yes, now does. this now this big boy rules today. That's right. This ain't no, I ain't giving you no water. This is big boy rules. Mm -hmm. I'm your pastor and I can be a friend to you, but mm -hmm. don't get it twisted. That's right. I'm gonna tell you the truth. That's it. The word of God. Mm -hmm. Do I tell my wife, I say, look. Yeah, I'm, I'm your Boaz, your boo, or whatever pet name you want to give me, but don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of God first. Mm -hmm. And don't try to shut up heaven on me because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell daddy on you mm -hmm. and, and you don't want him to get on you because there's going to be some problems. Yeah. I'm just saying, see, we have to... Amen. Make it plain. Amen. Make it plain. You know yes. what? This is why the younger folks don't want to come to church. Because uh -huh. won't That's nobody it. tell them the, the truth. truth. Mm -hmm. And they want to know the truth. And they see, they yeah. see the, the seasoned truth. folk. And they say, mm -hmm. well, how did, how can we get that many years in like mother uh -huh. and pop? How, how do we do that? My God, they, they just work together so well. Every, everything is just so in sync. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you only know the half. Mm -hmm. Amen. It look see you you learn to maneuver oh, you learn right. to work it out step right. it out right. Right. step right. it out step it out because the older you get the wiser you get you you know you realize one thing you know what things gonna be what it is mm -hmm. I might as well get my mind made up and do I'm not gonna waste my time with unnecessary stuff. Mm -hmm. And do what God tells you to do. God can work it out. You live long enough, you'll see that. Y'all know what I'm talking Amen. about. Amen. But let's talk about this young man here. It says what? It says, uh, I'm in the first verse. Go ahead. Uh -huh. He had he strengthened himself. He forsook the law of the Lord mm -hmm. and all Israel with him. Yeah. See, that's what happens when people are on the bandwagon with you. And they're not following the Lord like they should. You take them down with you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. That in the fifth year of King Rebal. Yes. Shishak, king mm -hmm. of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem. Because. Because they had transgressed against the Lord. All right. So now we see Shishak, the king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem. Now because of this, they transgressed against. See, any time you mess with God's people, he got a problem with you. That's right. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're setting the tone here. Go ahead. With 1,200 chariots yes. and three score thousand horsemen, and the people were without number that came with him out of Egypt, the Lubiums, the Shukiums, and the Ethiopians. Uh -huh. And he took the fenced cities which pertained to Judah and came to Jerusalem. Then what? Then came Shimei, Sh Shimei the prophet, to, Re to Reboam and to the princes of Judah 
that were gathered together to Jerusalem because of Shishak, and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Ye have forsaken me, and therefore have I also left you in the hand of Shishak. Stop right there. Here's point number one. Mm. Anytime you leave the Lord, the Lord is going to hang you out there, and a strong delusion is going to come to you. And he's going to give you over to it. Because you know the truth. That's right. Now, this was the son of a wise man. That's right, Solomon. He knew God. Granddaddy. He put his own spin on it and, and said, this is my kingdom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it my way. And he didn't seek the Lord in it. But that verse again, I want you to see, I want you to pay attention to it. It said that ye have forsaken me. Now that me is God. Yes. You have forsaken in other words, you have forsaken God, and therefore have I, that I is the Lord now, mm -hmm. have also left you in the hand of Shishak. The enemy. Now we got to define Shishak. My, my, my. Because now I'm left at his disposal. That means problems. That mean issues that I didn't have to experience. Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading. Wherefore the princes of Israel uh -huh. and the king humbled themselves, and they said, The Lord is righteous. Okay, and? And when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves. Now hold up. Now I want you to understand here because of repentance, the Lord is going to spare Rehoboam. Did you get it? Yes, God. Mm -hmm. I told you yesterday is gone. It's gone. Whatever mm -hmm. you did yesterday, if God woke you up this morning, yes. you need to go ahead and repent. Yes, God. Because in God's eyes, it's done away with. Mm -hmm. That is what saved him. Mm -hmm. We see here that he built a kingdom on his own. Mm -hmm. He didn't acknowledge the Lord, but he did something. He repented. He did a David number. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, he did. David should have died. Yes. But you know what? He repented. He repented. See the power of that? Yes. Sir. Let's keep reading. Go yes, ahead. God. And when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came to Shem Shemaiah. Hold up. The what did? Word. The word of the, the word. Lord. See, when you humble yourself before the Lord, don't forget repentance now. That's right. Repentance and humility and humbleness come together. Yeah. Contrite, broken heart. Mm -hmm. Come down off of your high horse. Mm -hmm. Come down to the ground and lay prostrate before the Lord. And say, Lord, fix me. Mm -hmm. I need yes. you. Yes. Then God will move on your behalf. Yes, Lord. You see, the Bible says when a man thinks that he is something, he's nothing. Yes, you right. can yes. never know so much word that you think you're better than somebody else. Amen. You can have, you can't have so much Holy Ghost speaking Come in on, tongues, man. water baptized yeah. in the name yeah. of Jesus yeah. Christ, that you can't do nothing wrong. That's right, man. That's why humbleness is a good character trait of a leader. Amen. I don't care how big of a church you got. I don't care how much uh, uh, you can speak eloquent, eloquently. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to humble yourself before the people mm -hmm. and let God. Yes. Let go and let God. Yes. You still ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to lose without God. That's right. Listen to me now. That's right. So he humbled themselves. I'm in the seventh verse. Amen. And when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, mm -hmm. the word, the word, the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah saying, They have humbled themselves. Do you see that themselves? Mm -hmm. Let me mark this right here. Yes. You have the power to control your circumstances. Amen. It said they humbled themselves. It didn't say God humbled them. That's right. They humbled. See, yes. that's so you got to take ownership of, of, of humbling yourself. God not going to make you serve him. That's right. Amen. That's right. Take ownership of it and humble thyself. When stuff ain't right, humble yourself before the Lord. Stuff ain't going right on the job, humble yourself before your boss. That's your boss. Yes. 
You're not working for him. The Bible said you're working. And everything you do, you do it unto who? The Lord. The Lord. Unto the Lord. So it should be nothing but good things. Mm -hmm. You don't like what the boss said, do it anyway. Yes. Now you don't like it, walk off the job. Go get yourself a number. Start your own business and could be, a, as they say, a shot caller. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it. But you got to make that money. That's it. So you might as well say, yes, sir, what do you want me to do? Okay. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. It pays the bills. It helps me do what I'm supposed to do. That's how we got to look at it. Amen. See, everything is just a mind change. It's how you mm -hmm. look at it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we internalize things too much. Yeah. We think about it too much. It causes stress, mm -hmm. ulcers, give you a stroke, have an aneurysm. Mm -hmm. Why? That's too much you carrying. Let it, go. Let it go. Mm. Let it go. Then God can bless you. Come on, Rita. Read the Amen. Record. Therefore, I will not destroy them. Therefore, now, see, he say, I, I being God, I will not destroy them. Uh -huh. But I will grant them some deliverance. Okay, okay. Look, it say some. Mm -hmm. Because if God meant all, It'll say all. It'll say all. He said, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some reproof. Some. 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 Because see, don't think I forgot that that's your kingdom. That's mm -hmm. And you didn't, you know what? You didn't include me in your bricks. Mm. That's right. You might have put my name on the brick just to say face and say, y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all mm -hmm. listen to me. Some people got the Lord on the church door, but ain't living nothing. They got them on the out, painted on the outside. outside. But it's the inside that you got to investigate. Right. Sometimes, bro, you got to right. pull a brick out and investigate that mortar in between. Mm -hmm. It might have more sand than water. It have more, more water than sand. Mm -hmm. That means it's not going it's not going to ferment properly. Amen. That's why some of these churches, and I'm telling you, you got to take your time to build a great church. That's right. That's right. The Bible say the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Come on, brother. Chief. See, do you know why you can't accept everything? The chief cornerstone mm -hmm. is Jesus Christ Himself. Yes, Anything else will not it work. Amen. You can't make me eat that nasty food. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make me say, I'm going to go over here and just deal with this because that, that ain't what God mm -hmm. said to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. He said, build, he told people, this, the church should be built on this rock, this solid rock. Mm -hmm. Cephas means rock. Mm -hmm. Peter was given the keys. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was doing. Amen. But before he knew what he was doing, he was alive. He was alive. Mm -hmm. Come on. And my wrath shall not be poured out upon Jerusalem by the hand of Shishak. Okay. Nevertheless, they shall be his servants. That they may know my service and the service of the kingdoms of the countries. So Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem and took away the treasures of the house of the Lord. You mean they took the Lord's treasures? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what happened. And? And the treasures of the king's house. He? He took all. He carried away also the shields of gold which Solomon had made. Uh-oh, we in trouble. Come on. Instead of which King Reboam made shields of brass and committed them to the hands of the chief of the guard that kept the entrance of the king's house. Uh-huh. And when the king entered into the house of the Lord, the guard came and fetched them and brought them again into the guard chamber. And? And when he humbled himself, the wrath of the Lord turned from him. Hold up. There it go again. It's something about humbling yourself that gets God's attention. He humbled himself before the Lord and the Lord responded. Mm. Did y'all get it? Amen. Go ahead. That he would not destroy him altogether. Mm -hmm. And also in Judea, Things went well. Okay. So King Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned. Mm -hmm. For Rehoboam was one and forty years old 
when he began to reign. He was 140. And he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The city which the Lord had chosen. Who had chosen? The Lord had all chosen. Right, go ahead. Out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. Yes. And his mother's name was Nama. Nama and, and um, um, Ammonitus. Mm -hmm. And he did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. And that is where I'm deriving my subject today. Mm -hmm. He did evil because he prepared not his heart to seek the Lord. Don't fool yourself today. You need the Lord. Yes, God. Amen. Everything you do, the Lord has to be included in it. Amen. In Rehoboam's life, he was not so bad as some, mm -hmm. but he did evil in various ways. Not as much from design or from neglect, but the evil effects. Now, here's some good parenting advice here. It says the evil effects of the father's sin mm -hmm. and the mother's idolatry was seen in their son. Wow. <coughs> Yet there was another <coughs> cause, namely a want of heart preparation. So now, and we know during the Old Testament that if your father <coughs> or your mother sinned, your child could be reprimanded Remedy. for that. And then it was vice versa. The sins that your child did, the parents would have to pay a price for that as well. Amen. But thank God for his Amen. grace and mercy Amen. now. Amen. That is over. Mm -hmm. What my child do, she's Amen. responsible on yes. her own. Yes, Lord. You yes, see? Lord. Now, we do our part. Bring up a child the way it should go. As it get older, what? It will not depart from the faith. But also keep in mind that you are a parent for life. That's right. Amen. So you got to be there to advise. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when you advise, tell them the truth. That's right. Amen. All right. That's right. Or they're going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. You decide. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let them tell you or are you going to tell them? Amen. Because if you got the word in you, you ought to be directing them. That's right. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about these evil effects. The son of Solomon was very naturally, he desired many wives. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Solomon had a lot of concubines. Yes, he did. And I want you to go over to uh, 11, the 11th chapter. And um, we're going to, let's see, start at um, 18. Okay, 11 and 18, and it reads, And Rebohem took him Mahala, the Mahala, daughter mm -hmm. of Jeremoth, uh -huh. the son of David, to wife. Hold up. The son of who? David. Uh-huh. To what? Wife. All right. And Abihali, the, the daughter, daughter of Eliab, the son of Jesse. His mm. daddy. He, great, great, oh, he's sugar daddy. He, his, he ain't playing. It, I mean, didn't you hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. He had many wives like, many his, wives daddy like did. his daddy did. You see that? <laughs> didn't fall far from the tree. What I'm trying to tell you is that he learned that habit That's from somebody. From he seen it. Good or bad, That's it. He, he learned, learned it. it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Stick with me because mm -hmm. there's a message in this. Go ahead. Which bear him children, Jesus and Shamari. And Zahan. Mm -hmm. And after he after her he took Micha, the daughter of Absalom. Absalom yes. Which bare him Abijah and Atai and Ziza and Shilamath. Uh-huh. And Rabom loved Micha, the daughter of Absalom above. above all his wives and his concubines. Father like son. For he took eighteen wives and three score concubines and begat twenty and eight sons and three score daughters. Mm -hmm. And Rabon made Abijah the son of Mecha the chief to be ruler among his brethren for he thought to make him king. And? And he dealt wisely and dispersed of all his children throughout all the countries of Judah and, and Benjamin, Benjamin unto every fenced city, and he gave them victual in abundance, and he desired many 
wise. So we see the characteristics of daddy in the son. Mm. Okay? But mama had a role to play too. Uh huh. Okay. So we see here that Neymar, the Ammonites, allowed images and groves to defile the land. Wow. Images and groves to defile the land. Same thing Absalom did. Woo! With all them concubines and all their gods. All that stuff on the wall, mm -hmm. all these statues, all these idol gods. The son had to really be mixed up. Yeah. He was a player. Mm -hmm. And his mama worshipped idol gods. Mm -hmm. So Judy, he all mixed up. Mm -hmm. You see what's inside of his DNA? Mm -hmm. I want y'all to think about that. A mess. Mm. Oh, it's real messy. Mm -hmm. His heart, his heart was not thorough with the Lord. I understand why. And he himself was not carefully consecrated to worship Jehovah. Because you got women on your mind and you got idol gods on your mind. Wow. And, and you don't know which way to go. Mm -hmm. And God's sitting right here saying, are, are you going to choose me? Choose wow. you this day. I, I'm, I'm right here. I've gone nowhere. I blessed your daddy. Mm -hmm. He was a wise man. Mm -hmm. But I see you running in his footsteps. Wow. And you also doing what your mama did too. You got these mm -hmm. idol gods. Mm -hmm. This is a tough situation for the child. Yes it is. That's why it's nothing like being saved. You, if you're saved, you can help monitor and influence your child to do what's right. Mm -hmm. You see why you will always be in your child's life? It is very difficult. I can say this because as y'all see, my kids are not here. They used to be here, but when you go through a divorce and you have to take your lumps and your stripes of life, you know what I mean, that they give you, you have to deal with those cars that you got. That's right. So I have to communicate from a distance, you understand? Yes. I don't like it, mm -hmm. but I can't do nothing about it either. It is, it is what it is. My wife would tell you, I went to court, tried to get custody. They wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Am I a bad man? I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a morally good man. I have a good job. Or at that time, had a job, retired. Now, you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm doing what is right. I'm not telling you I ain't made no mistakes. I'm saying I'm a, I, I feel like I'm a pretty decent man. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They didn't give them to me. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing in the world, I, I remember seeing my four girls on the pew. My Jesus. Clapping the hand. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Got tambourines, every one of them in their hands. And it just went just like that. Jesus. See, nobody ever talks about with daddy. They always mama, mama, mama. No, I, I, I hate it when they forget about daddy. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting the most important part of a family structure. Yeah, a mama can teach you some things, but a mama is not a daddy. That's right. That's right. You can't teach a son how to be a man. That's right. You might be his mama, and yeah, you carried him for nine months. Can I can I say something to y'all? And, and I ain't trying to get daddy with. I'm, I mean, you understand? Help yourself. That over that egg had to be fertilized. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> can I tell you something? A man carries that seed in his strobe his it. whole life. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't have that life that, that without it being fertilized. Mm -hmm. So I tell a, a woman quick, I say, you carried them for nine, but I carried them for my whole life. That's it. I carried them too. Mm -hmm. There is no you without me and me without you. We need each other. That's it. God said we come together and consummate this thing mm -hmm. and, and he create that child. It's bad when a mother do that. It's bad when a father do that. They got to be on the same sheet of music. Mm. And never let that child see you divided like That's that. Ooh, you better tell That's it. right. You better tell it. As we see, when that apple falls from the tree, it's going to produce that. Some of these young men out here are beating their wives simply because that's what daddy did in the home. 
Some of these young boys out here that was raised by their mama, they saw she got an open door policy. Every man coming in and out of that house. Now he a male child, mm -hmm. so guess what? Mm -hmm. He figured, mama did it, so I can do it. All it is is a different gender. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When I looked at my daughters and I look at some of the stuff, I said, wow, Lord. He said, yeah, remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember? Yeah, Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. He wasn't reminding me to, to beat me over the head, That's right. but to have some compassion and some understanding mm -hmm. for my child. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we too tough. Yeah, we can be. Now, mm -hmm. I don't believe in giving nobody no inch. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that God has counseled me multiple times to say, lighten up a little lighten bit. Mm -hmm. And I never forget. I'm going to get back to the word, but I, I, I got to tell y'all this. When I got on the, the Skype with my daughter one time, and my second oldest daughter told me, she said, Daddy, I'm not no man. And I'm not no Marine. Mm -hmm. I mean, she always tell me, I'm a young lady, and I'm, I'm asking you to carry, respect me, carry. You know, I'm just ad-libbing to mm -hmm. it, but I, I, I can read her heart. I know what she was saying. I did not realize was I, that, that I was that hard like that. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, you know, I, I, I'm not going to cry in front of you now. Mm -hmm. You done lost your mind. But it was eating me up in the oh, inside. Yeah. Say, you old man, you need to lighten up. Mm -hmm. And that, see, see, I got me and I got God tugging on me in the inside. You need to fix that. Mm -hmm. And I say, I'm sorry. I'm going to do better. Yes, God. Thank you. See, as the parent, I didn't have to say that. Mm -hmm. But now, you see what humbleness will do? Humbleness will always bring in healing. Mm -hmm. If you let. If you but when you choose to stay firm. See, Judy, sometimes I got to struggle against that Marine that's in me. Mm -hmm. I got to struggle against what society say that a man ought to be. I got all that coming against me. And, 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 and God forbid if I got some associates or some friends over here, oh, yeah. you know, Brother Scott, I can talk to you. Locker room talk. Yeah. Man, you need to man up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, let me tell you something. This is what you should do in your home. Oh, yeah. You know, hold up. Number one, you're not in my home. Yes. Thank you. Number two, uh, Thank you. that didn't even work for you. Oh. So how you going to tell me? Well... And you know the sisters ain't no different. Girl, let me tell you something. Uh, that man, I'm going to tell you how to handle him. First of all, honey, you need to share have enough. Number two, okay, don't cook him no food. Amen. You know, and, and, and them socks, let them socks stay down there on that flow. And, you know, he going to get the picture. You know, we, 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 we got the gift. We, we got that thing that God give us that every man want. So you got him like that. And that man said, so let me tell you something. You ain't going to control me. That's it, okay. Not with that. Mm -mm. Some people even say that's how Eve got Adam. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> Why he going to take the back seat? I mean, it had to be something good for that man to take the back seat because God commanded him. And did he let his wife know? Well, because when Satan came, he said, yeah, God did say. Mm -hmm. But when you read the Bible, she didn't even exist when God gave man the command. That's right. But she knew. But she knew. Because I believe her husband let her know. Because he let her know. But he chose to ride in the back seat that mm -hmm. day. And because of that, that's why we in trouble right now. Mm -hmm. And that's why a man got to run his home. Listen. I'm not talking to no novices in here. I'm that's talking it. about people that's been around. That's it. Let's really put this thing Get in order. God place. has order. God, man, wife, and children. Mm -hmm. Now how you manage, listen. Say it. See, God is giving, I want you to think with me. God is giving you a company, a corporation to run. Mm -hmm. It's called family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you're a man, you're the CEO of your company. That's right. 
Now, God not going to come down here and tell you how to run your company because, first of all, if you're the CEO and you're making the big bucks, that means that you already got what it takes to run it, right? Okay. And I'm, I'm talking about if you're saved. That's right. I'm not going to break everything down. Y'all got right. it, right? That's right. Now, if you say you can manage your home proper, mm -hmm. and I don't care what nobody say, it don't always go your way. That's right. Potato, potatoes. Mm -hmm. You want sugar in your grits? I don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if your wife wants sugar in her, then get put mm -hmm. sugar in her grits. That's all. You understand? You got to work it out however you work it out. And never be divided. That's Stand right. together. That's it, man. One thing about my grandparents, what I really love is, and I know they had to have some arguments. Mm -hmm. I know they had to ha have some type of disagreement, mm -hmm. but I never saw it. Mm -mm. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Old folks were good with that thing. Mm -hmm. and, it, it, and, and, and if Pops was a rolling stone, you, you never knew it. it. You were not in grown You could be right there by your brother, and you will never know he was your brother because your mama didn't say nothing. Hmm. Till you got older, we'll go over there and talk to your daddy. He'll, he'll talk to you. Mm -hmm. But she took great discretion in the timing. Amen. Maybe you need to grow up a little bit so you can understand mm -hmm. life. Because, mm -hmm. see, you would have grew up hating your daddy for that. And That's mama right. had the wisdom to say, you know what, I'm not going to put that child in that situation. That's like it. That. That's it. Can mm. I tell y'all something? You know why I ended up down south? Because my daddy put a gun in my hand and told me to shoot my mom in the head mm. at a young age. Mm. Now, do you know when my mama told me this? What was that when her and Uncle Lewis was here? How many years ago was that? Uh, Five years ago. Mm -hmm. Five years ago. Now, that's enough to make you want to hate your daddy. Yes. But I still show love. That's right. I don't even let him know that I know that. I mean, bro, Scott, I'm a man. I seem like I should have a right to man the man and say, look here, Daddy, I need to talk to you about something. Mm -hmm. Why did you put me in that situation? Mm -hmm. But that wouldn't be wise. No. Now, if I listen to some folk over here, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you need to set that straight. You need to let him know. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're a fool. Mm -hmm. First of all, he's not your daddy. Number two, you don't know him like that. Number three, you ain't even saved. There you go. There you go. The say bad affirmities of what? The weak. So my daddy, he not saved, that means he weak. Mm -hmm. You understand? I love him. That's my father. That's right. But he not saved. Mm -hmm. I pray for him that he get saved. Yeah. And maybe God will use me to help him get saved. I believe yeah. that. Yeah. But he gotta stop warring against me. He don't even understand why he warned. He warned against me because it's the whole, it's the anointing. Mm -hmm. He don't even understand. See, once again, when you build your house and God's not God. included, you're going to you fail. Have a mess. You have a mess. My father ended up with cancer and God healed him and he still ain't turned around. Mm. Y'all better listen to me. Mm -hmm. So you know what I had to do? I had to release it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get so tight with stuff that I let it bring me down. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen overnight. I learned that. I cried a whole lot, I heard a whole lot, and I realized, you know what? You wipe my tears, yeah. let me tighten my belt, and I'm getting back out here on this battlefield because it ain't nothing that I can do about it. And I'm going to do what God tells me to do. And if it changes, it'll be because God wants it to change. Amen. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Makes sense? See, that's how we got to be. Because if you show any weakness there, the devil going to come in and he going to use it against you. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's finish up with this. And, 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 Go ahead. I finished up 11 to 23. Okay. That, you're at 23? Okay. Great. So now, we see that uh, his heart was not thorough with God, and he himself was not carefully consecrated to worship Jehovah. Mm -hmm. He might have done well had he not been Rehoboam the unready. He wasn't ready to do right. He did not begin life with seeking God. You have to put God first in everything that you do. He was young. He should have sought wisdom of God first. Mm -hmm. Now, he should have learned that from daddy. Yep. But he's a mama, mama too. But he went to Shechem to meet the people 
without prayer or sacrifice. Go over to 10. Mm -hmm. Same chapter. I mean, not same chapter, same mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. Second chapter of Chronicles, verse uh, chapter 10. Okay. okay. And we're going to start at 1. How does it read? And it reads, And Rabon went to Shechem, for to Shechem were all Israel come to make him king. Uh -huh. And it came to pass, when Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who was in Egypt, whether he had fled from the presence of Solomon the king, heard it, that Jeroboam turned out of Egypt. And they sent and called him. So Jeroboam and all Israel came and spake to Rehoboam, saying, Thy father made our yoke grievous. Mm -hmm. Now therefore ease thou somewhat the grievous servitude of thy father, and his heavy yoke that he put upon us, uh -huh. and we will serve thee. Hold up. What they saying is, now your daddy put a, <laughs> he was a hard man. He was a hard man. And we notice a difference between you and your daddy. Mm -hmm. See how the devil is? Uh-huh. So can you just loosen it up a little bit? Loosen this yoke up a little just bit. Just loosen it up just a little bit, because your daddy, he was real tight on us. But we mm -hmm. asking you, because if, if, if you do, we going to serve you. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That's a political ploy there. Mm -hmm. You either gonna serve God or the people. That's it. You know, democracy is supposed to be for the people and by the people. Mm -hmm. So these politicians out here, a lot of times they selling you wolf tickets. Yep. For the people and by the people. If that's mm -hmm. the case, why are the senators not listening to the people? The people. <laughs> you vote for them, you put that's them in right. office, but he that's right. Changed on you. Mm -hmm. You see, number one, he ain't saved. That's I'm right. not saying all senators. Mm -hmm. I'm using a basis that any time that you're not saved and don't include God into it, you're bound mm -hmm. to fail. But if you repent and humble yourself, God can fix it. Uh -huh. Go ahead. What verse you on, sis? I came out of um, three. Go ahead. So they sent and called him. So Jeroboam and all Israel came and spake to Rehoboam, saying, Thy father has made all your grievous. Now therefore ease thou somewhat the grievous servitude of thy father <laughs> and, and his heavy yoke uh -huh. that he had put on us, and we will serve thee. And he said unto them, Come again unto me after three days, and the people departed. Mm -hmm. And King Rehoboam took counsel with the old men that had stood before Solomon his father while he yet lived, Hold saying... Hold up. Do you see who he went to? Mm-hmm. He went to the council. He went old school. He said, you know mm -hmm. what? Now, I need to deal with somebody that know my daddy. They counseled my daddy. Now they're going to counsel me. See, that's the problem sometimes in the church, too. Now you're dealing with a young church. Mm -hmm. And when I say young, I'm talking about all these churches, mm -hmm. just about. The young people are young and ra are running rampant. Mm -hmm. And they don't have wise counsel. Right. You got to have a wise mother, a wise father, somebody that know the Lord, someone that don't have ulterior motives mm -hmm. and want a title. That's right. You understand? Yeah, that's right. That's you right. need that. Because that's what's going to set you straight. Hold on, young blood. You're you moving a little bit too fast. Mm -hmm. Sister, let that dress down a little bit. It, it, it's it. too tight that's and it's too short. Come on now. Because I've been where you've been. Mm -hmm. And it's going to attract the wrong type of type man. Of man. That's it. And then you're going to be ashamed to come in here with your belly all poked out. There you Hello. go. You understand? There you go. But it's too late then. It's too late then. You're going to keep that child. Thank you. You ain't going to abort that child because it's not the child's fault. That's right. You learned that from somebody. That's right. Somebody allowed you to do that. Mm -hmm. And if your parents fail you, well, forgive them, but I'm going to step in. That's how the church should be. Mm -hmm. It should be a place where you come to get fixed. Mm -hmm. Not a place to come to get ridiculed and talked talk about. about. Fix it. Help me fix Help my me situation. Fix Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Help me fix it. See, we got to reverse those. Or that's why, yeah. you, you know, you look some, that's why the young people don't want to come in here. That's right. That's right. Well, I ain't coming there to be talked, talked, about talked about and ridiculed. And, come on. Yep. I've been looking for this. Well, can my wife wear these pants and stuff? I said, look, you come on. Because mm -hmm. one thing I learned, I let God do that. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. 
Now you ask me how I feel it. Don't ask me if you can't handle the truth. <laughs> Don't ask me if you can. Mm -hmm. See, some things, you know what peradventure means? Peradventure is not God's perfect will, but what he permit and what he allow. Some of us got married to the wrong person peradventure. Mm -hmm. But God, he tarry with it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you think that the God we serve couldn't see down in my life and see what was going to happen. My Lord. He knew it was going to happen. Yes, I, he did. Yes, he did. I didn't know it was going to happen. And sometimes I say, Lord, why didn't you, couldn't you could have let me know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how he talked to me. He mm -hmm. said, yeah, I could have, but I chose not to. And you missed some of the signs and symptoms anyway. Yes. It was there before you. Mm -hmm. But the real reason I allowed you is because I needed you to learn what that feels like. So when you talk to my people, they can't say you don't know. Right. You were married for a long time, mm -hmm. and then I let it hit you. My, my, and then my. I gave you a new wife. Now you're back where you're supposed to be. But that experience, is that your report card speaks for itself. And that's what we have to look at. Our testimony is what God has brought us through. Yes, God. That's why you got to go through. Yes, That's God. why you got to endure. All things work together for the good of those that are called according to what? His, his purpose. purpose. God want to use you for his purpose, not what you want it to be. And that's why you got to go through. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, Judy. Come on. We're almost done, y'all. Yes, Jesus. And the Faltic and saying, mm -hmm. if you are kind to these people. Mm -hmm. What verse you at? Seven. 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 Go ahead. Seven. If you are kind to these people and please them and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. Mm. Mm. Now look here now. I see something in that. And they spake unto him. Let's go back to the sixth verse. It says, The king Rehoboam took counsel with the old men that had stood before Solomon his father while he yet lived, saying, What counsel give ye me to return an answer to, the, to this people? Mm -hmm. And they spake unto him, saying, If thou be kind to this people. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to mm -hmm. P word. Mm -hmm. Brother Scott, mm -hmm. and please them. Yes. Uh oh, mm -hmm. I see trouble. And speak good words to them, they will be thy servants forever. Yeah. But he forsook the counsel which the old men gave him. Wow. And took counsel with the young, young men uh -oh. that were brought up with him. Wow, the young blood. That stood before him. Hold up, y'all. See? The young blood. Ain't got no knowledge. Y'all see why I don't hang with my peers? Mm -hmm. What you gonna tell me? You ain't gonna tell me nothing. I'm upgrading. I ain't downgrading. I'm mm -hmm. upgrading. So see, I, I got to hang with people that are older so I can become wise and learn. Yes. So if I'm dealing with a guy down there the same age as me and he ain't doing nothing, how am I growing? You're not. Same thing with marriage. How you gonna hang with Mother, how many years y'all got? <laughs> I got to use y'all. 32 years. 32 years.